So, hey everybody. Okay, well, have another project here that I'm bringing to you guys. Um, I'm going to show you guys this property. Uh, we actually closed. Today is... I forgot. Today is November 2nd, and today is Wednesday. So, uh, we actually closed. If today's Wednesday, we actually closed on this place Thursday. Uh, the guys came in Thursday. They worked Thursday. They actually took off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, uh, so, I'm going to show you guys this. Uh, we did get in here fast and started ripping things out. Um, I didn't even get a time to uh, turn the camera on through the whole beginning of the process. But uh, anyway, this is right here. We have the foyer. The, the all the outlets, uh, such as that, we actually took down. Um, the fan, they had a fan up. This is not a bedroom. Uh, but we are going to convert it. We are going to convert this into a bedroom. We're actually going to take and put a door here. If you look on this side, they have a door in the foyer. It's actually behind a door. It's very small. They have dead space right there. So we're going to flip-flop that and make this a four bedroom. Uh, same thing here. This is the AC, the air condition return. I don't know if y'all can see, but there's dead space back up in here. Well, I know it's only probably about eight inches, maybe a foot, but we're going to collapse that in and make that room just a hair bigger. Um, coming into the entrance, you actually have a bedroom. And I'm not going to show you guys the outside yet. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the outside. It's actually in pretty good shape. Uh, but this is a bedroom. This property has two master bath, uh, bedrooms. Uh, again, fans taken down. We stripped all the fixtures out. The doors were already out. They didn't have doors in the property and the place was beat up pretty much partially away. Here's the enjoy symbol. <laughs> um, I don't know if y'all can see this guys, but all that brown, all that brown is not rust. It's actually roach feces. Um, if you look at the outlet, that's again roach feces. So all the outlets are going to have to be changed out. Uh, the place is being sanitized. Um, we don't want any of that in here. All this, all this is gone. That's getting ripped out. 101, why they did that, I have no idea. I guess they figured we're getting kicked out. The bank's taking a property back, so let's destroy the place. But that's what people do. Uh, if you see the soap, soap uh, holder is broken off, that's an easy fix. We're going to go ahead and correct that. That, believe it or not guys, that can come off. All we need is a little bit of paint thinner, scrub the uh, grout, it's clean, fixed, and reseal where we took it off, reseal the grout. But uh, <coughs> toilets, every, all that's got to come out. The floor is actually fine. Um, the doors have been broken, so all the doors in the place, all the outlet caps were taken off already, the carpet, uh, we didn't actually have to take carpet out. <coughs> We didn't have to take carpet out. They already did it. So, you know, I guess they figured losing a place, we're taking the carpet too. Um, right there, we actually have a, uh, a beam. We're going to flip that beam on the other side, but we're going to have to tear, tear this out and just kind of see what's, what's the deal, what's, what's up there. So, you know, we want to flip that up and make the ceiling blend. That's going to give it more of an open feel. Here is, this is the living room. It does have a nice cathedral ceiling. The fans were taken out. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see this, but these two are going to be eliminated. One drop fan. And we already have recessed cans that are in. Uh, the kitchen, we already came in. We already started tearing some of the sheetrock out where they decided to bust up the sheetrock. Um, the kitchen is completely gone. We're tearing all that out, uh, all that. I don't know if you guys see all that, that brown. Well, unfortunately, that's how some people live. Um, that is roach feces. Um, you can see it. I mean, there's just trails and trails of it. So all this, this is not sanitary. All this needs to go. All this is getting completely ripped out, just like the top. 
and it's going to be an entirely new kitchen. Uh, you have the fireplace. Fireplace is fine, although we don't like the gawky trim that they decided to put around. So we're going to go ahead and put our own trim. Uh, it's actually like a small, it's actually like, kind of like a small miniature uh, crown, if you will. The window right here, this is getting replaced. Uh, as you can see, some of the seals are broke. And it's probably three broken windows. Then we have the garage. Which is dirty. But it can all be corrected. And I guess I turned on the right light. So all this is going to get re-epoxied. Uh, we do have another bathroom. Bathroom right here. We also have, yeah, you guessed it, some, some friends. So, yeah, we got friends. So they decided to start chomping on the wood. <laughs> but uh, that's all in what flipping a property is about. Um, you know, you're going to have termites. Uh, you get it treated. You open the walls. You change the wood. Uh, it's all fixable. As long as you know what you're doing, you don't want a house to collapse on you. <clears throat> There's some of the fixtures. There's the uh, fans that were up. Uh, the fans were not good, so we're not going to resell them, and we're not going to use them. Um, plus, they were caked up with some uh, roach feces. I don't think anybody wants that. Uh, th here's the uh, second bedroom, which has a huge closet. All the closets are big. They're very large. Right there, you can see that they actually had a leak. But here's the hall bath. So this is bathroom number two. And I guess this is bath uh, toilet. Number three, so same thing, same scenario. Nothing really wrong with this one. It's actually, uh, it's actually nice. Uh, tubs are gonna get re, uh, refinished. And then we have the second, actually, or the fourth bedroom, which is a master bedroom. So four, two master bedrooms. The only downfall with this one is it's got a smaller closet. This is the only one with the smaller closet, but it is, it does have the largest master. And it does not have the world tub like the other one does. But then again, this one has a smaller, it has a smaller closet. So either way, it doesn't really matter. Both of them actually at the front of the house, come to think of it. They both at the front of the house. This one has a small closet, large bathroom, no whirlpool tub. The other one has a large closet, whirlpool tub, smaller bathroom. All right, so this one has the 36. It does have the smaller bathroom, but it has the jacuzzi tub, which is nice. So, I don't know. They'll probably end up taking the other room, honestly, but they'll probably say, why didn't they not stick the, world, the uh, jacuzzi tub in the other bathroom? Well, I don't know. Why they did it, I don't know, but it's not going to get one. It's just not feasible sometimes, and some things are overlooked. Enhance it in the kitchen area. So, this is the backyard, guys. Um, we actually got to put some siding on here, so we're going to re-put some siding. As y'all can see, this yard already has a fence, which is great. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that tree, but we did cut the tree away from the house when we made the repairs. We're actually putting a gate up. Um, you want the privacy, so we're going to put the gate up. And that's going to be the, well, the fence, and that's going to be the gate right there. We were going to move it further to the front, but we decided not to. And since this property already has a gate, a fence, we're going to just close this section off right here. So, oops, I'm hitting the wrong button. So, we're going to actually close this section off. And it's only about nine feet. It really is not that bad. And then you have the side of the house, you have the air condition. Air condition is actually out of level, so we're going to go ahead and uh, level it off and uh, correct that. I don't know if y'all can see, and the dog's chewed up the wires right there. So, as 
time progress days go by i'm going to be bringing you guys in through the property that's it for today and we'll catch back up with y'all tomorrow for the next one so okay guys so that's it and i'll bring y'all back in here tomorrow for more and we'll catch back up with y'all tomorrow so we have the dumpster on site and actually right here they actually had um they had a towel the old old towel uh, i don't know if y'all can see i don't know if y'all can see this but this is the towel this is the towel that they had now so we went ahead and busted that up and we actually going to lay down slate so all right here on this rough surface we're going to go ahead and put slate and uh prep it up and it's going to be decorative you know decorative so the walkway is going to be slate and actually i don't know if you can see the cement right here there's nothing there there was nothing there i'm sure at one time it was bricks and someone decided to tear it up so we're going to go ahead and put roth iron gate with florida lee tips and a nice nice decorative post on both sides and of course landscaping as well and we're gonna put landscaping all in the front right here so yeah so that's gonna look really nice and it's gonna give curve appeal so yeah it'll have curve appeal and you know when someone pulls up we want their first reaction and when they walk into the house even much more better reaction you know we want the person to buy the house we want them to want that house so that's the whole idea chances are it's going to sell fast and uh only i would say one property one property took probably about uh probably about six months but it's uh not because of the way it was fixed up it's because it had a pool. Not that many people want a pool. People love pools, but it comes with a cost and a price. And I mean, you have to fix it up. Yeah, uh, not fix it up, but you have to maintenance it. And it, it does get costly. So, you know, I already knew that going into the property, but it, it is what it is. It's, it's another property and you don't want to kind of shy away from it. You still want to fix it up. You know, it's, it's still potential profit there. So this house, this house or every other house pretty much last on the market for well typical closing is about 30 days so uh chances are the second month uh typically when we end up closing on it and we already have someone that's wanting to buy the property so yeah that's the whole idea fix it up like the majority of people would want and chances are it'll sell faster you're going to make more money because you're moving to the next project um sometimes you also have to outbid other investors uh, you know, you have to play with the numbers and you have to make sure your numbers are accurate. I mean, really accurate. Uh, if they're not accurate, you're not going to make anything. There's some houses that you just should say, nope, that's my number. That's it. Walk away. Now, if there's investors out there that overbid you, there's a point that it's not worth it. Because if you have an issue with the property and oops, it's one of those oops and that could cost you five thousand dollars you have an eight thousand dollar oops well there you go again you didn't make nothing in the negative but anyway that's it for today and we'll catch back up with you guys tomorrow and i'm kind of going to kind of show you the place the outside of it but uh this is one of them